Hello friends, this is Sajal Latif Khan from Learning for All and today we will discuss about the use of may and might. The modern verbs in English differ from other verbs because they are not used separately and do not indicate a specific action or state. They just reflect its modality, the attitude of the speaker to the action. Let's talk about the use of may and might. Let's try to understand the structure of may. Model is followed by infinitive but not to. If we talk about its structure, it starts with the subject, then we use may and might, then the main form of the verb. For example, he may win the match, but we cannot use to. He may to win the match. This is a wrong sentence. It may to rain tonight. This time it is another wrong sentence. We don't use as with third person singular. For example, he may perform well. There is a strong possibility of his 100% performance and it shows that something is likely to happen because he has practiced a lot, he has performed well during the practice sessions, but not he may performs well. We cannot add as with performs after may. She may go for a picnic, but not she may goes for a picnic. May is used for asking permission. For example, may I go for a break, sir? May I use your marker? May I go to washroom? It is also used for denying permission. May I go for a walk? In answer, we can say, no, you may not. Or we can also say, yes, you may go for a walk. May I have some rest now? No, you may not. We can also say, yes, you may. May I change my seat? No, you may not. Or yes, you may. May is used for strong possibility. May is used when something is likely to happen and when there is a strong possibility of something to happen. For example, it may rain today because the sky is cloudy. It may be cold tonight. You may wear warm clothes because outside the weather is windy and rainy. The road is rough. He may arrive late tonight. May is also used to express a wish. For example, may you get well soon. May you pass your exams. May you live long. May is used in subordinate clause for expressing a purpose. We work hard so that we may succeed. We take exercise so that we may stay fit and healthy. May is also used to speculate about past actions. And the structure that we use for such kind of sentences are we use may, then have and past participle. For example, she may have phoned while you were in the kitchen. It may have rained there. Let's talk about that how we use might in English language sentences. Might is a modal verb used for some or weak possibility or when something is less likely to happen. It has variation in its usages. It is used for weak possibility, past possibility for expressing purposes in hypothetical situations, for asking permissions, for suggestions and in indirect speech as a past form of may. If we talk about the positive sentence of might, we have an example of it like, I might go to school. Let's talk about the negative sentence of might. For example, I might not go to school. If we want to make a question of might, then we can say, might I go to school? We have further examples, I might go for fishing today. I'm not sure and there is a little possibility that I will go for fishing today. It might rain today. There are little chances, there are small patches of cloud in the sky and we can use it that it might rain today. 
I might not take my exam. There is a weak possibility of it. Might is also used for past possibility. She might have visited this place before. She might have left for America last night. I might have watched this movie last month. Might is also used to express a purpose. For example, he did not attend the party so that he might have rest. He went so early so that he might reach on time. He did not give time to his friends so that he might finish his work. Might also expresses hypothetical situations. It shows the situation which is speculative or did not actually happen, especially in conditional sentences. For example, if you had worked hard, you might have passed your exams. If I had won a lottery, I might have bought a new car. Might is also used for asking permission. For example, might I ask a question, sir? Might I use your mobile? Might I join you in the party? Might is used in indirect speech as well. For example, that may not be the fact, she said. She said that it might not be the fact. He said, you may live long. He prayed that he might live long. Might is also used for suggestions in English language. For example, I thought you might like to watch this movie. I thought we might go for fishing on Sunday. Today in this discussion, we talk about the use of may and might and in English language, may and might are frequently being used. You only need to practice them again and again so that you can use them wherever the situation comes. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. See you in next video. Thank you so much.